Hi and welcome to this quick tip tutorial video. My name is Roberto Maderos. In this video we're going to look at creating a spot clear effect in Photoshop to take advantage of the clear toner capability in the Ricoh Pro C7110X digital press. So what we want to do is mask out the areas that we want clear on. So to do that we need a special tool in Photoshop. If you go over to the tools palette and click and hold the magic wand tool, you'll see the tool that we need is quick selection tool. We need to be in the layer that we're going to work on. I'm going to increase my tool size by hitting the right square bracket key on my keyboard and just start clicking in the area that I want. So you can see here in two clicks I was able to mask out the sales rep. With the digital press, or sorry, the offset press, it's a little bit more complicated because there's more color regions, but it masks, out, masks it out pretty quickly. So if I zoom in, in into this area here, I can reduce my tool or brush size down to a more reasonable size here. And just click in the areas until I have everything I need highlighted or masked out. Let me zoom out again. Now that I have everything masked, I just need to create a new uh, channel that's going to contain the clear information. So under Channels, I click on the drop-down menu and select New Spot Channel. The channel has to be called Clear with a capital C so the Fiery knows which uh, channel is going to have clear applied to it. I can pick any color for this. This is really just to show it on screen. And click OK and it's ready to save out. So the save process, we go to File, Save As. We select Photoshop PDF. You need to make sure that Spot Colors is enabled here. This is a very important step. Otherwise, the Fiery Rip will not know that this is a clear channel and will just print it as blue. So we click on Save. I've already saved this file before, so I can replace it. We can click through this dialog box and we want to make sure it's PDF X4. This is important so that we get all the components we need contained in the PDF. So I hit save PDF. Now we can switch over to that PDF and see that we do have the areas masked out with our uh, blue representing the clear. I could look in output preview and see that there is a clear separation here, so a, a separate uh, channel that will identify clear. So we're good there. We can hit simulate overprint, and we could see that the objects are still there, and the clear is just going to overprint over top of them. If this file was not created correctly, what we would see in this case is all blue. We wouldn't see any of the image below, and if if we toggle this simulate overprint, we would see that there is no image at all in the file. It was just the uh, blue channel there, the clear channel. So we want to make sure that we see it with the simulate overprint turned on. We want to make sure that we see the image below the uh, clear channel. So that's basically all we need to create the file. Now we just import it into the Fiery, select specialty color, and enable the clear toner and that's it. We have uh, a file that will print out with clear over top of specified areas. So that's it for this tutorial video. Hopefully this will uh, get you well on your way to creating some great pieces using the Ricoh Pro C7110X digital press. Thanks for watching.